it doesn't feel masculine to have to be led somewhere. It doesn't feel masculine to not drive a car. It doesn't, it, there's a lot of things that just don't feel masculine. Mm -hmm. And, and there's nothing that I can do about it. So I just have to learn to accept it. And then part of it's, you know, honest to be, if I'm being honest, like those problems and my fears of not being viewed as masculine isn't really with myself. It's more so with her. You know, I don't want to, I want, I want to be my wife to view me as masculine. That's the really the only, you know, thing I care about. Like if preach on man, preach on, you know what I mean? Like I don't, yeah, it's for myself I, sitting exactly. in my room. I really don't care if I'm perceived as masculine, but if I, I do care if, you know, Natalie sees me as masculine. So it, it's something that I stress out about, you know, in terms of me, you know, we, we want to have kids one day and I, I get nervous about, you know, I get, I have like this fear of if I'm out with my, you know, pushing a stroller and I knock it over or it goes out. I have like these wild fears of it, like going out in the street and I don't see it and a car I've hits it. That. and yeah, no, you, not, not the no, car. I have not. <laughs> I was the wild animal park when I ran into the wall. <laughs> yes. I did do that. Okay. So let me just say something about the, yeah. the fear you have about the masculinity thing. And I'll, I'll say this for myself and, and I don't know how Natalie feels, but yeah. for me, I think my husband is one of the manliest men I've ever met in my life. Not because of the typical stereotypes that they put out there on the media or whatever, but because yeah, yeah. of what I've seen for myself, the, the fight and the drive and the determination and then never giving up. And I mean, I think my husband is the most amazing person ever. And I do think he's masculine um, in many ways because he could sit there and be humble himself. He can communicate with me and he can ask for help. And for me, like, I think that's the most manly thing and attractive thing that I could ever ask for um, in a man. And I think you just have to, as you learn through this, you have to stop looking at others that are not in our situation and look at yourselves and really look at what your spouse is doing and how they're overcoming these very challenging obstacles um, and how they are as a person. And it, that love and that strength you see in them is way more than anything else that you would get from somebody else who maybe is sighted. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, like that's my opinion. Um, of course, there's some things like now I'm a woman that I cannot do because I'm a woman, right? Like I'm not as strong as a man. So the only thing that I get kind of scared about is when we're in situations where I don't feel safe, like we're in a, an environment where I don't feel safe and there's some, there might be some bad people there. How am I gonna protect my family, right? Yeah. So what I do is I just say, I don't like this, we're leaving. Yeah. Like I don't We've learned to want to be here. I'm not going to our put our, mm. my, our, my family in this place. And I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what anybody says. I got to go. I got to take my family out of this. And yeah. that's what I do. Um, and I just don't put myself in situations where I feel like that's going to happen or I feel uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I think what you said is great. Uh, what do you think about that, Natalie? I want to I wanna leave, give you an option, a chance. <laughs> I actually agree with a lot of what you said, because in terms of, you know, someone who's masculine and who, who you're with, it's not how always what you see, you know what I mean, on social media and TV. Mm -hmm. In terms of, you know, say with the vision and stuff, that's never once made me think any different. Like never, never once. And I right. hope you know that. <laughs> Only because like that doesn't define, you know, it can happen to anybody. Anyone can have it. So... Um, female, male, you know, whatever. So for me, like, I see how hard he works and how much he cares about me and everything he does. So what should a vision have to determine that? You know, you, you know what I mean? So he's mm -hmm. there for me. He sweets me every single day. He works extremely hard. He's kind, caring. So what does it matter? You know what I mean? So I, yeah. but then again, I, I understand from his point of view about the masculinity right. when he... He, I know he said it before about the driving and, you yeah, know, and that, taking care of me. I come, I, I get it because, you know, growing up, you, you grow up, learn about certain stereotypes and it should be this way and this way and mm -hmm. that's it, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not always the case. And it, it's such a, for me, sometimes I feel like such a small thing. 
It's like, it's, Bitch. and you know what I mean? Between like how we are together. Yeah. It, right. it doesn't overtake the rest of it. So it's right. something we have to deal with. Obviously it's, you know, yeah. every day that like most normal, you know, most couples out there don't. And I, I get that. But for me, it's, it's not, it's not like, how do I explain it? It's not something that's going to be such a detriment to a relationship. Yeah. I think I blow it up. Life. I make it bigger than it is. You know, you know he's, it's bigger. I do, I, I it's do a, the same thing. Yeah, it's just like yeah. it's massive problem in my head mm-hmm. that only I see as massive. It was, but everyone else is just like, oh yeah, Lance is the you know, it's RP like, or whatever. There, there will be times like that. You know, just this last trip, coming back, we were pooped. We were done. Our kids were tired. You were tired. I was tired. And there would have been, and I would have given my right leg to be able to hop in the driver's seat and get my family home safe and let her rest and relax because she was tired too. Yeah. So there's moments, you know, there's certain certain situations, certain things that happen where it's like, man, you just do anything you could do to help mm-hmm. your wife, you know, and, and help your family or help your team get through whatever you're getting through and you just can't. And that, that feeling sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like there's certain emo- like feelings that you just kind of have to take on the chin, you know, it's just like there's it no way around it, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's lots of things like lots that. Lots of those. Um, oh, But I think that's part of it, and it's part of something that helps you get stronger as a couple. I mean, as you guys lose your vision and things get harder for you and you have to be stronger and you have to try harder at everything, there's, in a way, as as the spouse, as a wife, you have to be stronger and try harder as well in different ways. Even though you're not physically losing something, your life is changing. So Mm -hmm. you have to get stronger. You have to get braver. You have to kind of adapt what he does. Whereas mm. so long, like I could sit back and watch and be like, God, he's so cool. He's so strong. Like, I don't know how he does all this. And then at some point it starts to turn where more comes upon you and you have to start to step up and you have to start to get stronger. Right. Mm. And you kind of, you learn from, I learned so much from Andy, you know, in all of this. And I just want to be, better for for him and my girls so at the end of the day no matter like how hard that is and and i'm not gonna lie i have really bad days yeah. um you just you got to do what you got to do right yeah yeah the bad days you have good days where almost like rp doesn't really interfere that much and then you have bad days where it's like the hot topic of the day 